Getting a HIV diagnosis changes everything. In that moment, your mind races with questions about your future, your health, your lifespan. And like many others, you probably started searching for ways to support your immune system. I mean, it makes sense, right? But what if I told you that one of the most common things people do after diagnosis could actually be sabotaging their treatment? That's right, those multivitamins you're taking to boost your health might be doing more harm than good. It's a common misconception that more is always better when it comes to vitamins and minerals. Many multivitamin brands boast about boosting your immune system, often providing 300 to 3000 percent of recommended daily intake for various nutrients. However, in your quest for better health, you might be doing more harm than good. In today's video, I'm going to reveal a critical interaction between HIV medications and common supplements that no one's talking about. But don't worry, I'm also going to show you exactly how to protect yourself while still getting the nutrients you need. So if you're taking HIV medication, this might be the most important video you'll watch this year. The global multivitamin industry is booming, expected to reach a staggering $44 billion by 2029. And it's no wonder, in our fast-paced, stress-filled world, where diets often consist of ultra-processed foods, lacking essential nutrients, multivitamins seem to offer a convenient solution. But for people living with HIV, the stakes are much higher. Did you know that 40 to 60 percent of people receiving HIV treatment globally are on a type of medication called integrase inhibitors? These are incredible drugs that have have transformed HIV treatment. But here's where things get complicated. Integrase inhibitors work by stopping the HIV from making copies of itself in your body. Your HIV medication is like a key that needs to fit perfectly into a lock to work. But certain minerals in multivitamins, we're talking about iron, calcium, magnesium, and aluminium, they are like bubble gum getting stuck in that lock. When this happens, your body can't absorb the HIV medicine properly. If your body can't absorb enough of the medicine, it won't be able to fight the virus effectively. This means the HIV in your body might not be controlled as well as it should be. But it gets worse. Not only could this prevent your medication from working effectively, it could also lead to something called drug resistance. If the medicine isn't working well, the virus might learn to resist it. This means your virus might not be properly controlled. Your treatment could become less effective over time, you might need to switch to different medications, and this resistance could potentially spread to others. Now, I know what you're thinking, but I need these vitamins for my health. And you're absolutely right to be concerned about your overall wellness. The good news is, there is a solution. Here is what you can do. First, don't panic. Not all supplements are harmful. Vitamin D, for instance, is recommended, especially if you don't get much sunlight. The key here is timing and selection. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist. They know which specific HIV medication you're taking and can give you the best advice. In most cases, if you're on integrase inhibitors, the simple solution is to space out your supplements and HIV medication by four to six hours. This way, they won't interfere with each other. But remember, this isn't just about multivitamins. The same rule applies to protein supplements as well. So always check with your healthcare provider before starting any new supplements. They can help you find the best way to stay healthy without messing up your HIV treatment. So what's the bottom line? Not all supplements are off limits, but it's crucial to choose them wisely. Always consult with your doctor or pharmacist before adding any any new vitamins or supplements to your routine. Your health journey with HIV is unique to you, but you don't have to navigate it alone. Talk to your clinic about the best way to support your overall health without compromising your treatment.
That's it for today, everyone. If you found this information helpful, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more crucial health insights. Until next time, stay safe, folks.